Hello again and welcome to the hobo and his girlfriend wrestling show. My name is Hobo Tom, and this looks so much different after the fact that... Let's see, I wonder what happens if I clean it again. Gee, look at this. It's doing maintenance on equipment. That looks so much different. With the exception of the light that's coming right down at me. That's okay. Um, I'm here to do a little wrestling review. And it is a special time of year. Especially for the WWE. When they do their tribute to the troops. So, wait a second. Why, why am I wearing my wrestling t-shirt? Am I Johnny Gargano shirt? I should be wearing something patriotic. If the WWE can be patriotic for one day out of the year. So can Hobo Tom. In fact, I have a little tribute to the troops going out right now. And, um, that's a little bit more patriotic. My Stars and Stripes cat shirt, which was given to me by some random woman once. Well, let's talk about some pro wrestling. Um, I know I wanted to do the New Day pancake show. Fortunately, due to work, could not do that, but instead I'm here to talk about the WWE's Tribute to the Troop show. Was, I'll tell you what, amazingly fun to watch. And really good, and I think the, the thing, the one thing that stood out is that the wrestlers really seem to enjoy themselves and when you put the WWE booking team, I, don't, I have no idea who it is, Vince, Triple H, Stephanie, Shane, Road Dog, I, I have no idea. When you put them with a zero stress situation, situation, and when it's just really a fun, glorified, a ho televised house show, they they put on amazing matches, and then you see some of the hot garbage dumpster fires. From Raw and the amazing match on SmackDown, and you're like, you know what? This is leaning more towards SmackDown versus the dumpster fire that has been Raw in the past few weeks. Not so much this week, but the past few weeks. Again, you can feel free to comment. Or send an email and say, you don't know what you're talking about. Raw has been amazing the past month. <laughs> Try seeing that with a straight face. But again, this was really fun. I don't know what it is. They just do amazing things when there's no stress. It's like no stress involved. Do whatever. Have fun. The only thing, because it is a tribute to the troops, you know the faces are always going to win. Um, I know there's Byron Saxon there, JBL, I think, um, Atungo's there. 
So they're kind of switching up things a little bit on the unannounced team, and I'm fine with that. The new day come out in all Christmas gear, and they're the hosts. Paige talks about mommy kissing Santa Claus. He should talk about him kissing Paige. Oh, I just did not go there, but I did. And there was Santa E Claus. It was good stuff. Um, again, they started singing USA, 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 USA. Again, it was just a fun show. I mean, you have to give major props to the WWE. The fact that you do this. So the first match of the night was um, the Rice Squad featuring Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan. Versus uh, Tamina and Nia Jax versus Natalia Nightheart and Ronda Rousey. And it was okay. Liz seems to have really pink hair. That just might be me. Tamina still looks like a Klingon. <laughs> ABL. From, from what I've heard on, online, he can be a real interesting person, but now he's being really nice. He's, he's being really thankful for this opportunity, and he's being very gracious. He's being very humble, which is rare for JBL. And I like this camera angle. I think my cat's been around my computer. But I adjust the computer and the camera angle. Well, this is pretty good. I don't have to sit far back. I, I don't have to sit down, which is a nice thing. Again, uh, Mina and Nyan Jax, they're learning really how to do tag team wrestling and how to do double team tag team wrestling, which is good. Um, again, you have the blind tag by Sarah Logan. So Tamina gets in their corner, Sarah Logan tags in. My, my one big critique, and it's probably because... Well, I've had ooh, a good deal of red wine. It's always good, but again, do not go anywhere. Do not drive drunk. That's, 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 that's very bad. And then you go to the police station and feel shame. Never happened to me. I just stayed home. Below. But Sarah Logan's just confused. I think it's because she started off with a backwoods country gimmick. And now she's going to, like, Viking gimmick. It's just weird. I think when she was in NXT, she was, like, Louisiana swamp woman thing. So that's three versions of Starlo. Ooh, wait a second. That could be something good for the Daytona Bum Fight League. The three Sarah Logans. Viking Sarah Logan. Louisiana Swamp Woman. The Swamp Woman Sarah Logan. And then Backwoods Woman. Sarah Logan. That might be a good idea. For my New Year's Day matches. I'll have to think her with that. On Christmas Eve, because <laughs> I'm off. And Christmas Day, because <laughs> I'm off too. I don't, in theory, have to work on Christmas Eve, which is good. More stuff I can do for you, my YouTube audience. But she, she's just confused. Um, Natalia really takes the brunt of the beating from everyone. Ron Rousey gets a hot tag, starts judo throwing and punching everyone. Ruby Riot tries to be a distraction. Eventually, she has, she has the double arm breaker on Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan. And I think the nice thing is that Ronda Rousey really gave a heartfelt tribute and a really heartfelt thank you to the troops. And if you're going to be a performer in front of the U.S. Army, you really want to be thankful to them. Again, I just showed my little tribute. and I'm wearing my, my Stars and Stripes cat shirt. Again, 
you do want to be thankful. Um, that being said, you don't want to be, you want to be thankful to them, but you want to do it in such a way where it's genuine. And I don't know what the word is, but not overly show you that. Just say, that's all you need to do. Thanks. That's it. And I'm probably more partial towards those who actually serve more so overseas than other stuff, because I do have some friends in the military. Some have gone overseas, and I hear and I hear about their their trials and tribulations. And then I hear about others that serve stateside, and it just seems like a good paying constant job. So I, I have kind of mixed feelings with. I, I do appreciate the military and what they do. Again, that's just my opinion. Again, you can always feel free to like, comment. And so you don't know what you're talking about. You can agree, disagree with me. That's okay. Also, feel free to share and subscribe to this YouTube show. And that's even more greatly appreciated. I guess you a shout out. Eventually, I'll have maybe a girlfriend. I'm not sure. You never know. Stranger things have happened. So again, this was a really fun. This was a fun match. It felt different. It's a cheeseburger match. Then the next match you have Bobby Lashley, who is actually an army vet. I, I forget if it's army or marine. Marine veteran. He is an armed service veteran. I'll say that. And I always want to say, yeah, Drew McIntyre versus Finn Balor and Elias. Again, this is a really, this was a fun match when I saw it. I mean, you can definitely tell there's some good chemistry or lack thereof chemistry. Again, of course, the faces always have great chemistry. The heels, eh, not so much. With the exception of Leo Rush, because he's just Leo Rush. He's just, just some crazy wild person who runs around. Again, it's a really good match. I mean, again, I love their entrances. And the military they, they show are super appreciative of the show. I mean, they're really into it. This just feels like a really fun intimate house show and that's probably what it should be and it translates like that on tv and you see this and you're like you know the wwe can really put on a, a darn good product why don't they do this for their monday night audience again um again you have the brawlers more so in lashley and, and mcintyre Elias is still a, that, that a brawler. Drew's a lot more technical, though. I mean, for the most part, the heels just beat up ba Balor for a while until he gets the hot tag. And then Leo Rush tries to distract Elias, and Elias just chases him. And eventually, Elias goes underneath the legs. Um, Elias first goes for a roll-up on Bobby Lashley, but it's unsuccessful because Leo Rush jumps on the ring, holds Lashley, so he doesn't get rolled up until Finn Balor saves the day and kicks Leo Rush in the head. And then Elias gets rolled up. I'll tell you what, Elias, he can run and he slides between Lash Lee's legs. He makes it entertaining. This was a fun, fun match. That was thoroughly entertaining. And the crowd, again, it's a whole different environment. But they made it feel so much different. I have to give this a surf and turf rating. I mean, it's really fun. Then you have Miz TV. 
Miz is amazing, by the way. I don't know what he's done, but he gets better all the time. Year after year, he's always improving himself. And he, again, he gives that really heartfelt thank you. And the military really appreciate the Miz. And they're cheering for Miz TV. He's the heel everyone cheers for. He's, again, he's a heel who makes sense. And he pulls on uh, Charlotte and, and Becky. And the Miz is still the Miz. He still goads them. And again, he tries to stir, stir the pot. And then Mandy Rose and, and Boo Charlotte DeVille show up. This is a big step up for Charlotte DeVille. I can still remember when she was wrestling here in Daytona Beach. And if she didn't beat Princess Kimberly, she would never be booed by me. But she beat my princess, Kimberly. That's always going to get you a boo. I think she held the Para Heavyweight Championship. It's kind of that male belt. You're a woman, you hold that male belt. Whatever faction or industry or, or territory it is, or promotion, the word I'm looking for, you're always going to get cheered by me. So let's set up a match. Um, it was Charlotte and Becky versus Sonya Deville and Boo Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose. And this was good. Um, this is showing off Deville's that she can wrestle, though. She's learned a lot from her time. And this is the only... I think the only... Again, the only negative is of the show is that you know the faces are going to win. You're not going to have the heels win in front of the military. Uh -uh, not happening. But again, Sonya Deville can wrestle. And Charlotte, again, is really good. The thing, though, is that the tag team between Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose is really growing. Because now they're learning how to do those tag team things like distractions, du illegal double teams, blind tags. So teamwork is building. Um, Sonya did try to mock Becky Lynch. And I knew as soon as that happened, you know what? I was 80% sure that Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose were going to lose. Sonya starts mocking Becky Lynch. I'm 99% sure that Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose are going to lose. So again, again, you have the, the, the double team after the distraction. Uh, Becky eventually does get in with the hot tag, puts the, puts the disarmor on Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose taps out. Charlotte and Becky Lynch win. And I think only because it was predictable and there wasn't much interaction with Becky and Charlotte. This was a, don't get me wrong, this was a fun match, but this was a ham sandwich match. And then you get to their main event, which was utterly amazing. Um, well, you have John Stewart come out, he does his comedy bit, which is okay. Then a, it's AJ, then the main event, though, and this crowd went. And AJ Styles, Seth, Daniel Bryan, and just to a little lesser degree, Dean actually had a smile on their face that they could perform in front of the U.S. military. Because you had AJ Styles and Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose and Daniel Bryan. And this is, this is a really special thing because it's the only time to really see this kind of team get together. And it I'll tell you what, it was amazing. I mean, I know they want to push the tag, the, the individual belts on the pay-per-views. Oh, wow, for a Survivor Series match? This would have stolen the show. I mean, this is the only time you see something like this. And it's just amazing because it has that house show feel with big names involved, and AJ Styles, Seth, and Daniel O'Brien probably had 
the most telling expressions because they just really seemed to enjoy themselves. I'm sure Gene, Dean was enjoying himself too. He didn't show us as much, but but he's but he's grumpy heel. Grumpy heel never enjoys himself. All all the all the three others, and again I'll I'll toss Dean in there. They were enjoying themselves. They were having fun at a wrestle at a pro wrestling match. And the pro wrestlers were having fun and the crowd was having fun. Oh wow! You never thought that WWE would ever think of this. It seems like that novel thing, but it's not. If you put together quality wrestling and e even just a toss together storyline, yes, AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan don't like each other, Seth Rollins and Dean don't like each other, just have them in some big schmoz and make them f just say, hey, you have some time, do what you want to do. It was just so much fun. AJ Styles hit that running knee on the apron. I never saw that before. You have a new thing. <laughs> Wrestlers having fun. The crowd loving it, eating it up. Good wrestling. I mean, actually not even good wrestling. Nearly great wrestling. Look at this expression on my face. I was enjoying this. And it wasn't even the red wine that made me enjoy it. I mean, it was so much fun. And then, again, you have uh, the stuff. Again, the jawing between Rollins and Dean was great. Never heard that during Raw. I mean, they just they seem to be enjoying themselves. They're making it fun for everyone. I mean, Dean eventually again. Well, he's back to the black tank top. Which, uh, if that's if that's my only critique that Dean's wearing a black tank top, hey, it can't be bad, can it? Again, amazing. Again, there there was some. That's not a good looking headbutt, too. I like that headbutt. Most underutilized move in all of wrestling. Hardest part of body on hard part of body. Or hard part of body onto semi weak part of body. Always works. I mean, again, you have the heel, heel miscue, and eventually AJ Styles does hit the phenomenal form on Daniel Bryan. AJ Styles and Styles wins. It was so much fun. This is a filet mignon match. And that was the tribute to the troops. Got yeah, my little tribute to the troops. Again, I would like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I know kind of semi-spoiler is that they did the tapings for this night's Monday Night Raw and Tuesday SmackDown. So I'm going to try and keep those on those days. I might put them both on Monday. I get to figure out what I'm doing. Also next week, because it is Christmas, I shall say Merry Christmas to everyone and put some Christmas stuff up. Although I don't have a girlfriend, so I'm not getting dressed up. Although I might put on my Christmas sweater for my one show. So I'll typical Monday Night Raw, Tuesday Night Smackdown, and then also Tuesday will be a doubleheader because I also put up my Christmas ex my Christmas wish list match. Just you wait for that. And then you have New Year's coming up again. You'll have Raw Smackdown, a New Year's special. And again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see everyone in a few days. Merry Christmas, everyone. You say happy holidays. It's Christmas. Therefore, Merry Christmas.
and I eventually will make my 12 Days of Hoboing song. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.